Hello and welcome. This math contest problem has one of the most satisfying solutions you will ever see. Now, when faced with such problems, you may be tempted to expand this bracket, collect like terms, factorize, do all those very nice things. But that is going to be a very big mistake because you will have very large numbers to handle. Now, the easiest way to solve this problem, and in fact, the most important observation you will make, is that 8072 is equal to 2018 multiplied by 4. Now, when you make this observation, the next thing you are going to do is to make n or any letter of your liking equal to 2018. Then you're going to rewrite this equation. You're going to write it as x squared minus, now we have n squared, both squared minus, remember, this is 4 times this. So it's now going to be 4nx. And then we bring 1 over to the left-hand side. We have minus 1, and this is equal to 0. Now you can expand. When we expand this, we have x squared squared, that is x to the power 4, minus 2 times x squared times n squared, that is 2n squared x squared. Then minus n squared squared, of course, that is plus n to the power 4. Then we have minus 4nx, and of course, we have minus 1, and everything is equal to 0. Now, the next thing we are going to do is that we will add and also subtract 2n squared x squared from this left-hand side. Remember, when we add and subtract the same quantity, we have not changed anything. So, here we are now going to have x to the power 4. We add this, that is plus 2n squared x squared. We have this plus n to power 4. Now, remember that we still have this. So, we write, we write it down. That is minus 2n squared x squared. Now, we subtract this. That is minus 2n squared x squared. And, of course, we still have this. That is minus 4nx. And we still have this minus 1. And of course, everything is still equal to 0. Now here, we have x to the power 4 plus 2n squared x squared plus n to the power 4. Now, of course, you know that minus 2n squared x squared minus 2n squared x squared is going to give us minus 4n squared x squared. Then you still have minus 4nx, and we still have minus 1, and everything is still equal to 0. Now, before I go on, let me introduce a bracket here. And of course, you know that now that this negative sign is outside the bracket, this negative sign is going to change to positive, and this negative sign is going to change to positive. Now, let us look at this. Let me write this as x squared squared. And then, of course, this is still 2n squared x squared. And also, let me write this as n squared squared. Then we have, let me also enclose this in a bracket. Then we have minus. Notice that this can be written as 2n x squared. Because of course, if you get rid of this bracket, we have 2 squared, which is 4. n squared and x squared. And then we have, I am going to write this as 2 times 2 n x. Because once more, when you multiply this with this, you get 4 n x. And then I am going to write this as 1 squared. Because, of course, you know that 1 squared is equal to 1. And, of course, this bracket is still there. That is this bracket. And everything is still equal to 0. 
Now let us look at this. You know that this can be written as x squared plus n squared squared. Because of course, if I open this bracket, I have x squared squared, which is this, plus 2 times x squared times n squared, which is this, plus n squared squared, which is that. Now we have minus. The exact same thing is going to happen here. Because notice that this is squared and this is squared. So we have 2nx plus 1 squared. Once more, if I open this bracket, I have 2nx squared, which is that. Then I have 2 times 2nx times 1, which is exactly what I have here. And then, of course, I have 1 squared, which is that. Everything is still equal to 0. But most importantly, we now have the difference of two squares. And you know how we factorize the difference of two squares. Of course, remember that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b. So we can now factorize this. We have x squared plus n squared minus this. That is 2nx minus 1. And this is multiplied by x squared plus n squared plus 2nx plus 1. And everything is equal to 0. Now you can see that we have successfully factorized the original equation. And of course, you know that from here, we have that either x squared plus n squared minus 2nx minus 1 is equal to 0. Or x squared plus n squared plus 2nx plus 1 is equal to 0. Now notice that these two equations are quadratic equations. In fact, let me rearrange them. We can write this as x squared minus 2nx. Remember that n is a constant. That is 2018. Then plus n squared minus 1 is equal to 0. From this equation, of course, we have that a is equal to 1. That is the coefficient of x squared. We have that b is equal to minus 2n. That is the coefficient of x. And we have that c is equal to n squared minus 1. That is the constant term. And we can solve this equation using the quadratic formula. We have that x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, if we substitute into this equation, we have that x is equal to minus b. That is minus minus 2n. So that is 2n plus or minus the square root of b squared. That is minus 2n squared, which of course is 4n squared. So here we have 4n squared minus 4. A is 1. And c is n squared minus 1. So here we have n squared minus 1 divided by 2 times 1. That is 2. Here we have 2n plus or minus the square root of 4n squared. Opening this bracket, we have minus 4n squared plus, because minus minus is plus, 4 times 1 is 4 divided by 2. And of course, you know that 4n squared is going to take care of minus 4n squared. So here we have that x is equal to 2n plus or minus. We are left with the square root of 4 divided by 2. This is 2n plus or minus. The square root of 4 is 2 divided by 2. Here we have 
2 into n plus or minus 1. Of course, 2 times n is 2n. 2 times plus or minus 1 is plus or minus 2 divided by 2. And of course, this is going to take care of that. To give us that, x is equal to n plus or minus 1. I told you that the equation, that the solution to this equation is really satisfying. So we have that the solution to this equation is just n plus or minus 1. So we have that x is equal to 2018 plus 1, which is 2019, or 2018 minus 1, which is 2017. And coming over to this equation, we start by rearranging it. We have x squared plus 2nx plus n squared plus 1 is equal to 0. Once more, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2n, and c is equal to n squared plus 1. Now, we have that x is equal to minus b, that is minus 2n plus or minus the square root of b squared, that is 4n squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is n squared plus 1. And of course, divided by 2 times a, which is 2. Now, from here we have x is equal to minus 2n plus or minus the square root of, when we open this bracket, we have 4n squared minus 4n squared. Now, minus 4 times plus 1 is minus 4 divided by 2. This is equal to minus 2n plus or minus this is going to take care of that, leaving us with the square root of minus 4 divided by 2. And from here, we have that x is equal to minus 2n plus or minus. The square root of this is 2i, because you know that i is the square root of minus 1. And of course, this is divided by and of course, x is equal to 2 into minus n plus or minus i divided by 2. 2 is going to take care of 2, leaving us with x equal to minus n plus or minus i. And we have that the two complex roots of the original equation are minus 2018 plus i or minus 2018 minus i. So we have found the four roots of this equation. Two of them are real and two of them are complex. These are the two complex roots, while the two real roots are 2017 and 2019. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a thumbs up to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.